Hey, Scruffy. You sleeping? <clears throat> I didn't see you. Couldn't see you from the window. Were you lying there a long time? I haven't seen you all day. Not since uh, the midnight snack that you got last night. So Scruffy cried out with a loud meow last night so I could hear him. So I fed him a little midnight snack because I didn't know what to do. But yeah, I didn't see, see or hear him today. So you ready for dinner? You got your meaty pate with real chicken and uh, beef with kibble. And it's um, um, yeah, standard stuff. So yeah, I'm still behind in tons of things. So yeah, I probably need to get dinner going here. So I'm gonna pick up your food now. Okay, so it doesn't look like you're gonna come in, so I guess I'll inch towards the door here and okay. So I'll put the food on the table. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <clears throat> so you hissed at me and they lost the balance. We should just stop trying to pussyfoot around you and just come out and get you used to me, you know, just trampling on out here. Okay, so I'm going to change your water and, uh, oh, no ants today. So, the ants inside the house seem to have dissipated. So I think they ate all the ant poison. And the queen might be dead. Okay. Let's get the glove on. Let's sit in the chair. So maybe the ants out here in the water bowl are the same ones that are in the house. You're under the chair. Hiding? Yeah. Like it under the chair? So the <clears throat> ant bait that I made, spork acid and sugar water. Um, <clears throat> so I put it in the uh, pantry because the ants were, they didn't actually get in any food, but yeah, they've been concentrating their searches around a, a jar of peanut butter and honey. And so I moved the bottles and because I, I set out traps over the past week and they haven't gone for it. And so I finally set one right where the honey was and they finally went for it. And so now the ants seem to be gone. So, the, so they're going for it, I think about two days ago. And then, yeah, that looked like they're dying out yesterday, so today it looks like they're all gone. So I'll probably clean up the trap either tonight or tomorrow. I'll leave it, maybe I'll leave it out a little longer just to make sure. The stragglers, I've seen some of these ants sometimes, yeah, they get weak, think you got them, and then they come back with a vengeance. And then gotta do it again. Um, but yeah, it's good to see the ants aren't out here in the water bowl today, so that's a good sign. Of course, yeah, today was actually, well, I wouldn't say cool, but yeah, it was, I think, a little cooler than yesterday. Supposed to heat up again tomorrow, so kind of choppy weather we're getting. But uh, yeah, so last night I finally got a little bit of sleep. 
didn't have to wake up as early today. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I think with all the lack of sleep I've been getting in the past this past week uh, allowed me to sleep a little bit better last night. But yeah, still didn't actually get quite a full night's sleep. Still woke up a little too early, not by intention. But at least wasn't uh, as groggy as I've been all week. <clears throat> but yeah, the temperature today, even though it was a little cooler, it was still a little uncomfortable. So I checked the forecast. So I wanted to do a bike ride today. And it was one of those days where. <clears throat> The afternoon and evening was not going to cool down, and so it looked like I was better off going early on the bike ride than waiting until the end of the day. And because I got up a little bit later today, and I still have some things to do this morning, I didn't actually get onto the road till very close to noon. Sadly, it was still better. It was going to be this afternoon and evening. So, went on my bike ride, and the entrance, the pedestrian entrance to the park was closed. So they were doing uh, wildfire maintenance or something like that. So they basically closed off the path, had a sign saying, do not enter, uh, use basically the main uh, vehicle road. So all the pedestrians and bicycles basically had to go walk on the street where all the cars go. But since uh, the parking fees are so high now, there's no cars, so problem solved. <laughs> so I went up the exposed mountainside number one. Maybe that was a mistake, because yeah, it was noon, noonish. And uh, yeah, I was sweating up the whole way. I was dripping sweat the whole way, actually. Yeah, it, it was hot enough. That it was kind of miserable. Even though it was a cooler day today, it's still too hot. But I didn't get any cramps this time. So I think that's the first time I haven't had a cramp in like three rides. So, I guess that's a good thing. And then, uh, so Scruffy's actually kind of calm here, so I think I'm going to feed him. Okay, let's get your food. Okay. I miss the other brush. This fur looks pretty clean today. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, so my days I've been my days been shuffled all around because of basically my sleep schedule plus the weather and working around that so I can go on a bike ride so I've been <clears throat> doing everything out of order so I'm kind of all frazzled and uh, <clears throat> I need to water the garden so well so yeah, I don't want to spend a lot of time with uh, Scruffy tonight, so I'm probably uh, just going to pack up after he finishes eating. So yeah, the garden here takes me too long to do it one night, so i got to do it in multiple phases and then 
<clears throat> yeah, the water rationing rules. We're supposed to not start water watering until like uh, I forgot when exactly, but yeah, basically evening. So. <clears throat> yeah, there are enough trees near my house that you know, the sun doesn't actually have to completely set to basically you know, cast a shadow on the ground. So the point is, yeah, you don't want the water to evaporate. So you know, theoretically, I could actually water a little early, but you know, the rule enforcement, I don't know. <clears throat> they never contextualize anything. So yeah, I was actually, yeah, I got a Scruffy's dinner prepared a little early and I tried to get my dinner prepared a little early. So everything's just been kind of sitting out, ready to go. Um, just so I, you know, get to the things I need to get to really quick. So Scruffy's not eating too fast. He's kind of chomping at the food. I don't want him to throw up. I think it's only what maybe four nights ago he threw up. So as I said, yeah, I didn't see Scruffy all day today. I don't know. So it wasn't as hot, so I don't know. I don't think yeah, the heat was keeping him away. I thought, yeah, maybe he'd stick around a little more since he, he learned he can get a extra meal from me just by meowing in the middle of the night through a window or loudly. I don't know if he, I don't know if he knows. So I don't know if he's smart enough to know that if the, if the window is closed, it's hard to hear him. That wouldn't be obvious, I think, to an animal or even a person, for that matter. If they don't know anything about windows. Actually, yeah, wasn't there like a scene in yeah, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, where he's like solving like how a crime unfolded or didn't unfold and just starts screaming at the top of his lungs and he's like opening and closing a sliding glass door to demonstrate you can't hear him when the door's closed. I haven't seen that movie in many, 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 many years. <clears throat> so I did a lot of bill payments today, so I was shuffling my uh, schedule around. So I was on the uh, computer trying to balance all the books for several hours. Yeah, I had some problems. My, some of my banks like, changed their uh, online backend, and so I, I usually use uh, Financial software that likes to connect to the things so I don't have to like manually punch in things <clears throat> And it just downloads the transactions and puts them in my little accounting software But nope, you know, they, when they change everything they break that stuff and so I'm Just trying to get help saying hey, is there a way to fix this? And in most cases the answer is no, sorry don't have that working right now.
So we need to go grocery shopping soon. I'm thinking I might go tomorrow. So I'm low on fresh vegetables again. And actually, the timing's working out. Like the spinach I bought, it's, it's wilting. It's, so I'm, yeah, I think I just actually finished it tonight, or I'm finishing it tonight. So it's about right timing. And then let's see. I think I bought yeah bok choy, and it's also wilting. Broccoli. It's actually in pretty good shape. Oh, that reminds me. I forgot to. Just gonna cook hard boiled some eggs tonight. Forgot, forgot about that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. One more thing I gotta do. And then I gotta get a bunch of ingredients for my uh, big vegetable soup. Oh, Scruffy's leaving tonight. Mm. Yeah, that simplifies things for me. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.